Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, you can tell from not the excitement that I always do with my audios and hotlines and all. This is a tough audio that I'm going to have to do. Because there was some devastating news. That just came out about an hour or so ago. I would say about 90 minutes ago to be exact. That Larry Zonker. And I'm not talking about Larry Zonker from the Miami Dolphins or the American Gladiators. 411 Mania's Larry Zonker. I uh, passed away. I know last night he had some health problems. He was feeling really shitty according to what. He said on Twitter, and now the guy is gone. And Larry Zonka, man, I got to say it like this. He's an icon for his writing on professional wrestling. And why the IWC always looked up to him. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I started hosting the Wrestling Forum back in 2011, 2012... I decided to use the Larry Zonka rating system. Sure. Dave Meltzer. I know he's iconic for the five-star rating system. But Larry Zonka. He was the first guy that. When I saw his content. I wanted to bring that five-star rating system. To the wrestling forum. And this guy. He got me back into New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm going to be really honest with you. I read his reviews about New Japan Pro Wrestling. And when the NJPW World Service came out. I believe it was in 2015. That's when I started watching NJPW full time. And he also reviewed WWE, Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor. AEW, etc. But beside him being a wrestling writer and a guy that wrote reviews about professional wrestling, the guy was a great husband. And the guy had two kids. And think about it. Last year, I remember Larry Zonka was in a hospital for six weeks. Real shit. Six weeks. Had his leg amputated. Talked about the struggles. Of him trying to recover from an amputation. You know. Busted his neck. Doing physical therapy. This guy was a great man. I. I don't know him personally. But based on. What he had in life. This guy was a great man. He was always positive. Loved listening to him. He had a podcast. I believe it was with Steve Cook. This is just devastating. For the wrestling community. It, it's really tough for all of us. I mean. When I found out about this. I was shocked. I still can't believe he's gone. Trying to put this into words, it's been tough. I've tried to do, like, this audio, like, six times already. This is actually my seventh time doing this audio. And it just tells you, man. <sighs> Take life for granted. Especially now in this world. Because of... Not only we can leave this world in one second. One second we can be in this world. The next second we, we're gone. But take advantage of the blessings in life. Because we don't know when we're going to leave this world. We don't know. I mean, right now, a lot of people are suffering in this world with coronavirus. I mean, it's so tough. It's been like this on a daily basis now for the past couple of months 
hearing about the people that died, the numbers of the deaths of people that have died, not just in the United States, but in this world. I mean, this year cannot end fast enough. It really can't. I mean, I really want to get into 2021 and get into 2021 with a lot of positivity and not negativity. Not negatively, but um, it's just so tough, man. Um, condolences to his wife, two daughters. Condolences to the 411 Mania family. Four one four one one mania man is never gonna be the same without Larry Zonker. Real shit. It's not gonna be the same. Peace and love.